Mheshimiwa Milio Diambo alimpoteza baba yake akiwa na umri mdogo. I didn't experience my father's death. Watu walikuja kwa matanga wakafanya promises we will take your children pay their fee from form 1 to form 6 atukuona. Shule ni kurija vitimbi na sarakasi. When Millie came she refused to fit in to the box even though I would dress warm I'd still feel very cold. So nikaanza kutembea hivi. The way I'm walking they say that girl gangster. Power is very temporary in life you can fail. Jina langu ni Mili Grace Akot Odiambo na hii ni story yangu. Wabunge 29 wametoroka chama cha Kanu na kubuni KPU 1966. Yanayofuatilia ni uchaguzi mdogo wa kuzinyakua nafasi walioacha wabunge hawa. Wakati huu Novemba tarehe moja katika eneo la Homa Bay. Milio the ambo anazaliwa. Baba yangu alizaliwa akalelewa Mbita. So ingawa uh, originally sisi ni watu wa Mbita, I was born and raised in Homa Bay, which is another constituency. Even when she was working as a state council and she saw the police mowing down university students, she the government official was actually at the forefront of a full scale you know uh, demonstration niligrab bunduki kwa polisi kwa ofisi ya attorney general because walikuwa wameua uh, they, they had killed a student sasa so, tukaanza ku demonstrate so wakati tumeenda ku demonstrate kwa ofisi ya attorney general one of the police comes to us with a gun nika grab gun time came to a standstill wafula buke jumped He came and took the gun from me and gave it to the police and I remember Raila coming to me akaniambia young girl don't ever do something like that again Mheshimiwa Milio Diambo amepata jina la utani kule wanamuita Amilo Geza Geza mrembo wa, wa suba Geza means so fine or good Geza Geza it means fine finest of the finest yes so that's how they refer to her, her constituents mimi naitwa Milo Geza Geza mrembo wa suba ya kwanza sababu mimi ni mrembo. Me I am beautiful kama uoni hiyo ni shida yako wewe ndio uone daktari. Kwenye vitabu vya historia Mheshimiwa Milio Diambo atakumbukwa kwa makuu. If the author is somebody who believes in equality then you know they will speak about her courage and they will speak about her commitment and dedication especially to the rights of children and to the rights of women. Mili whatever she believes in wewe wewe unaipenda au uipendi unataka kuisikia hiyo ndio itafanyika mimi nimefika hapa kwa guidance ya mili na Mwenyezi Mungu kusema kweli historia ya Kenya ikiandikwa sina shaka yoyote kwamba atakumbukwa kama mtu mkakamavu anayechukia dhulma na anaye tetea haki kwa wote. E, yeye ni mkereketwa maarufu kabisa. Mili is not about to lose any battle because as a woman she fights all her battles on her knees. If I were to describe Mili in one sentence I'd say the woman of grace and fire.